Hey guys, so <laughs> I look like a complete and utter hot mess right now. It's quarter to ten at night. I've just opened a bottle of wine. <laughs> it's been a long ass day, okay? And I just wanted to just put some makeup on. <laughs> if you know, my videos are not always like this. <laughs> but hey, please subscribe, <laughs> join the channel, hit the bell to get notified of when I bring you great new content just like this. Um, <laughs> where I feel like my life is falling apart and nothing's going to plan and I'm just constantly in my pajamas working from home and life's never gonna be normal again. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> feel free to join this mess. <laughs> and I've been meaning to film this video for a little while now. I have this box of Makeup Revolution stuff. It's an amalgamation of all of this stuff. <laughs> Majority of it is the new XX range and it's just been a bad day. I just wanna get glam so let's do it. Grab a drink grab a snack. I'm hoping once I start sorting my face out I'll start to feel a little bit better. Honestly that's what made me want to film because this is like my happy place. The wine helps too. Anyway <laughs> let's get some glam on shall we? <laughs> hey we're up close and personal. How you doing? <laughs> so I want to start off with eyes first because I haven't got a new eyeshadow palette from the XX Revolution range just because nothing stood out to me. I know they had like a massive one that was like 28 pounds and I was like uh no. <laughs> and I know they have like small capsule ones, but again, I just didn't like any of them. So just being frank with you guys. I know Makeup by Missa has done a review on one of the big palettes. So I'll try and link some down below or in the eye, wherever it is. What side is it? Somewhere on the video. <laughs> but I dug this out of my makeup collection and said I wanted to do a video on it because I haven't used it in a while. Since that video, I have actually played with it a little bit more and honestly fell back in love with it. <laughs> I don't know why I remember this not being that pigmented, but then I used it the other day and I was like, what was I thinking? <laughs> but I am gonna be playing with the new eye primer from the XX Revolution range. I haven't heard anybody talk about this. It is in a massive component. I quite like the packaging. It's in the shade Basic, but I didn't see any other shades of the eye primer, I don't think. I can already feel the wine hitting me. <laughs> I've only had a few sips, oh my gosh, okay. Okay, so this is the component that it's in and what it looks like. I really like the frosted glass. I think it just makes it look a little bit more luxe. It's actually plastic, not glass. It looks almost like a concealer. Yeah, this actually looks like a concealer. Oh God, it's so special on me. Okay, what a, what a weird doe foot. That literally looks like a foot. Like, look at that. It's literally just like someone shoved a foot on the end. <laughs> my eye primer. Great, okay. All right, let's see what this like. Oh God, no. Mm. It looks a lot more orangey in real life than what it does on camera. So it's not as like pigmented as a concealer is. And this wand is like a little bit, I don't know, it's not harsh, but it's not like cushy. You know, like a kind of like a concealer one to be. I've been filming for 12 minutes already. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna be a long ass night. Let's see what this primer does. So it isn't as pigmented of an eye base as what I would typically like, cause it's still kind of like showing through my veins a little bit, which is not ideal. But yeah, not enough coverage to actually cancel out my lid color. It feels a little bit tacky, which is good. But yeah, my eyelid definitely feels a bit sticky, <laughs> especially cause I've got a slightly hooded lid, kind of stick into itself, you know? All right, so I've been using like a lot of the neutrals from this palette recently, just for like every day look. So I'm thinking of doing like a deep purple kind of smoky glam. I have not used purple in a while, I don't think. Don't know about on my channel, but in my general life. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking of using the purples in the palette today. I guess there's only really two purples and they're both shimmers, but we shall see where this goes. <laughs> I don't have the name sheet for this palette, so I'll like put it up on the screen so you guys know what I'm using. I'm just going straight in with the black <laughs> and hoping and praying that this is gonna go well. The eye primer is kind of set down a little bit. There's like a tiny bit of tack there, but it's almost set down. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. <laughs> I know I wanna do a kind of like winged out shape. So I'm just kind of pressing this down in that triangle kind of shape. You see the black isn't like the blackest black, you know? But the other shades that I've used recently have been really, really good. 
One thing I've been doing a lot recently is once my base is done, I've been using my bronzer as just like a big transition. I've learned that from Jamie Genevieve and it really does work for me. I think it works for everybody, but I think especially if you're very fair skin, you find that sometimes colors can look stark on your skin tone and they don't quite blend. Using your bronzer as a big transition shade and just kind of whacking it over your temple, honestly, it's a game changer for me. I love learning stuff like that, you know? I love watching people and learning things. I love YouTube. <laughs> I want to try and make these both even, obviously. So I'm gonna do both eyes at the same time. I don't usually do this. I feel like I look like a bit of a psycho and <laughs> when I'm doing this, I'm just staring into the mirror at myself. Trying to make this as even as possible. <laughs> this primer is very tacky. Like my brush is almost catching on my lid sometimes with this primer. I'm hoping like when I actually go to blend this, it's not gonna really mess me up. I'm gonna take a little something throughout the whole crease just so it doesn't look too stark when I put the color on my lid. I'm gonna go in with a slightly warmer shade throughout my crease just to set off the purple. I hope we shall see. <laughs> it has a slight pink undertone to it, so I feel like it will work with the purple. I guess it's more orange. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna spend too long doing my makeup today. I say that, I just put black on my lid. And I, I say it as if I, I'm just gonna leave it there like that and I'm not gonna blend it. Oh Lord, I'm being so messy right now. Uh, it's the alcohol, okay. It's definitely the alcohol. Okay, I'm gonna take a slightly deeper shade. Just start to blend out the black a little. Yeah, there's a definite tug on my lid with that primer. Still working out if I like it or not right now. <laughs> All right, so now we have that kind of blended. I'm going to go in with the darkest purple, I think. I don't really want this to be like a cut crease. I just want it to be like just on the lid, you know? I just want it to exist on the lid. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm just gonna like press this over the black like so. Ooh, I quite like that. I might spray this actually to give it that more foiled look. Yeah, let me do that. I'm gonna use this, which is by the XX Revolution range. It's the Glow Fix Brightening Fixing Mist. Obviously, I'm gonna try this at the end as well. Ooh, I love the packaging. It's like a rose gold rainbow packaging. Very pretty. <laughs> oh no, mine's leaked all over the top. <laughs> I've had these for a while as well. Mm. Ooh, that smells so good. <laughs> Let me test the spritzer anyway. Okay, it's quite fine after you prep it a little, which is great. I can't work out if it smells nice or not nice, but I think it does. I know you guys come for my descriptions. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna spray my eyeshadow now. All right, let's see. Does this help it any better? Mm. Didn't do that much, did it? It's fine. I'm trying to keep that kind of shape, the wing up shape, you know? So I'm just like bringing it down on an angle. This color combo is almost spooky season. Who else is excited for Halloween? Sorry guys, my camera ran out of memory and rudely interrupted me. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the lightest purple, I think. All right, so I'm kind of keeping that winged effect by focusing this more down on the lid. I love how I'm talking as if you would actually recreate this. Uh, no. <laughs> you know, I have had a few of my looks recreated, which is kind of cute, but my main one was one that I did on Instagram like a few years back now, which I really want to redo. And it's one that I did like a cut crease, but it was a Mickey Mouse cut crease. And that's one that I get tagged in with recreations of, which I think is so funny, because that was just like a fun little idea. But it's something that people have redone and I think that's really cool. I need to do some more like detail work. It just takes hours to do. Like I did a mermaid one before and that took me so freaking long. It is one of my favorite eye looks and I think it was my most liked eye look on my Instagram. Oh god damn that took so freaking long. But I want to do more like that but also I just love soft glam. I'm like <laughs> in a catch 22 with myself. Just tapping over some of that dark purple over the edge, bringing it kind of in. I'm gonna add a little bit more black, I think. Make this smoky, you know? All right, I think I'm done with the eyes now. I really like the colors. I really like how it turned out so far. So let's move on to the base. Just zoom you out. 
just a little, you know. Okay, so this is something I've been super excited to try. It's the Cloud Complexion Soft Touch Primer. When I heard this, I was like, ooh, that literally sounds like something I just wanna slather all over my face. <laughs> So it says it's a sorbet like water gel with a smooth soft touch texture and it's supposed to improve the appearance of your skin by minimizing pores and brightening the complexion which all sounds amazing to me. I love the packaging on this with all the pretty clouds, tie-dye clouds, it looks so pretty. This is like my aesthetic in a box, I love this so much. <laughs> Got a pretty holographic lid, again frosted plastic jar. Let's see what this looks like because I'm intrigued. So this is what it looks like, I think it's been like resting on its side so it's just gone that way. Oh, that smells so good. It smells almost like shampoo. <laughs> so let's feel it. Whoa, it's so thick. Should have probably checked if I had fallout, huh? I think I'm good. <laughs> so yeah, look how thick that is on my finger. It's like not moving. Put a little bit on. It just feels like a very thick, smooth cream. I don't know if I picked up too much. I might have. <laughs> Ooh, it feels nice. It does really smell like shampoo. <laughs> Rubbing it in, it, I don't know how to describe it. It almost feels like one of those silicone primers, like it has quite a bit of slip to it. But then also feels like a very thick night cream. And it's like sunk into the skin like almost instantly. It feels really good. I think you guys can see it's like brightened up my complexion like a little bit. But then once it's like sunk in, it's kind of dulled down that a little bit. It's not too intense. There's no shimmer in it. It's just kind of like almost a wet look, but it is like drying down. How do my pores look? They don't look drastically improved. I think it's because it feels like almost hydrating to my skin. So it's given like a sheen. So it's not like blurred out. Cause usually with primers like that, it would more mattify than anything, you know? Really like the feel of this. I'm excited to try it a little bit more. It is slightly scented and I can still smell it. It smells all right, but you know, fragrance just is one of those unnecessary things. So if you don't like it, just to let you know. Well, foundation, I've got the XX Revolution Glow Foundation. It's got a weird ass name. I don't know how to say it. And it's always complicated. Why can't it just be foundation? <laughs> I've got the shade, I'm pretty sure it's F, yeah, F. Point two. I've got a review coming on this by itself. Maybe up already. I don't know. <laughs> God, I <laughs> please bear in mind my face is darker than my chest. I'm currently covering my chest, <laughs> so I look insane. I may change afterwards because this is. Uh... I just look literally insane right now. If you're new to my channel. <laughs> I do know how to match my foundation. This matches my chest. Please don't judge me. <laughs> Look at my hand. It pretty much matches my hand. My chest is more of my hand shade, okay? I... Whoa. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alright, so now I look like a literal zombie. Let's conceal a little bit. The foundation comes in 55 shades, by the way, which is pretty good. And it also comes in a matte formula, but I chose the glowy one. I've got the XX Revolution Concealer. This is in the same shade as the foundation in CX02. How many shades does the concealer have? Oh, that also comes in 55 shades. Great. It comes in the same packaging as the eye primer, so it can be very confusing if you're just in this but this is the concealer the only difference is the lid and obviously the shade range <laughs> oh same dofa as the eye primer like literally exactly the same component hopefully this will work well with this foundation considering it's the same shade i will say not a lot of product comes out on the dofa that's a good or bad thing considering who's looking at it <laughs> hmm. the coverage is actually pretty good i'm usually going for more of like a hydrating concealer these days just because my under eyes are a little bit dry and crepey you know <laughs> so typically a more hydrating concealer is better for me if you're looking for an affordable hydrating one i highly recommend the my heart revolution concealer that is like my favorite one at the moment and i keep going back to it but this one it's looking good so far just a little bit dry i also think i could have done with color correcting because I think you guys can see my dark circles are coming through a little bit. Oh no. Oh god, where did that go? The dofa is so hard to get out of here so product flings out, just an FYI. I'm just gonna add a little bit more where I feel like I need it. It doesn't feel heavy but it looks a little heavy, you know. It is very bright in though with this shade which is nice. I would not recommend leaving this for too long though because it does set down almost so it could 
set down quite quickly if you leave it for a while, you know? Not my favourite, not the worst. I actually quite like it with the second layer. It seems to have a little bit more of a sheen than what it initially did. It's quite matte on the initial application, but now looking a little bit more luminous, which is a little weird, but okay. <laughs> I'm going to try setting it with my usual, which is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and see if it sets down nicely. It's because I don't have a under eye setting powder from Revolution. And also I cannot live without this stuff. <laughs> This concealer does like almost self set. I didn't need to, but I don't want to get creasing, so I wanted to. <laughs> it's feeling a little bit heavier now that I've done that. Great. My base is not my favorite right now. My under eyes are feeling a little bit heavier after powdering, and I really don't go in with that much powder. I barely put anything on my brush, I don't bake anything like that, so it's feeling a little bit heavier than what I would like. But we shall power on and try some of the other products I have. Oh shit. Uh, I just remembered something. Mm, I haven't set the rest of my face. It should be fine. Should be fine. Mm. So I bought this blush palette, which fun fact, I actually thought was one of the raised baked powders that they brought out in like trios. I thought it was like a miniature version of that with six shades. No, turns out it was a cream blush palette and I just didn't read. So that's my bad, but I'm getting more into cream blush, so it's kind of, you know, a gift in disguise. <laughs> I love the packaging on this. So pretty. Also, I haven't heard anybody talk about this. I don't know if there's a reason for that, but I want to test it and see what it's like. This is what the packaging looks like. Really pretty. Ooh, okay. They all look very shiny and not mad at all. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with this middle shade because it's slightly purpley. It looks very light, so if it does turn out to be too light, I'll mix in a different color. It looks very creamy in the pan, like it doesn't take a lot to disturb. A lot has picked up on the brush, even though that looked like a very fair shade. For my sponge on hand, just in case I need a little magic eraser, <laughs> let's try this out. This foundation does almost set down to like almost matte. It has a nice sheen to it, so hopefully this is gonna blend okay. I am gonna look a little bit nuts until I put my bronzer and highlight on, but it is fine. That color is stunning. Also, it's blended out like a dream. Hmm, okay. I do feel like there might be a little bit of disturbance on my foundation. Let me just look up real close. Very slight maybe, but nothing too crazy. It hasn't completely taken up my foundation, which I appreciate. There's a little bit of a sheen to it. Like an everyday basis, this might be pretty nice. And there is a nice array of tones in this palette. Like they have quite a deep tone in there as well. I kind of brought it up a little bit too high and it's not really merging with the powder that I've put down. I'm gonna try and blend that with my finger a little. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Um, not perfect, but a little bit. Yeah, I could definitely see myself reaching for this again. I have been reaching for more cream products, especially my Fenty. I do actually have some powder blushes from Revolution, but they're not really in the colors that I want to try out. It's a bit too peachy and that's just a bit too nude. I'll keep those for another video. I'm gonna go in with the XX Bronze Matte Bronzer in the shade Demo. I'm pretty sure they have like eight shades of this, so they have quite an array of shades. This is the lightest one. This is the packaging. It looks a lot like Kiko. Um, I, I don't think I really like it, if, if I'm honest. I don't like this packaging. And this is what the bronzer looks like. V-Duck. Uh, hopefully I can get like a sheer application of this, but I'm gonna use a very big fluffy brush and try and just get like a veil of bronze. Oh, it's quite dusty. Let's just try and tap this. Now I haven't set my base and also I did just put a cream blush on so we will see how well this blends. I'm hoping with this big brush it will blend quite nicely. Yeah, see I just tapped a brush in there. That is so dark for the paler shade, especially for Makeup Revolution. Like usually they're pretty good on their shades. Oh dear lord, I've got to stop picking up so much product. Look how dark that is. All right, I've got to be very careful with this and I am going to be. This is definitely not a shade I would pick. I'm probably gonna sell this on my Depop, but I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no, if you're very fair, do not recommend that bronzer. I can make it work, but I don't want to have to. So I've also got the XX Revolution Exposure Highlighter Multi-Dimensional Powder in the shade Echo, which again is their fairest shade. I'm excited for this one. Who doesn't love a highlighter? It's a similar packaging to the bronzer, just pink, which I prefer. This is the shade. It's a very like champagne-y 
kind of gold with a little bit of a touch of pink. It's very pretty. Ooh, it feels so buttery soft. Whoa. Oh my God. This looks like it's going to be amazing. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, this looks so good on the skin. This just melts in, man. There's no glitter and does not give me a cast. That is what I needed in my life. I mean, Makeup Revolution's highlighters are generally pretty good. This is a really good highlighter formula. It is just so smooth. Gives you that kind of lip from within glow, you know, but you can build it so it's really intense. I'm just gonna set my face real quick with the XX Glow Fix Set and Spray before I go in with mascara and everything like that and finish up my eyes. I just sort of do it now. It does have a really nice mister. I do feel like it's a bit inconsistent. The smell is not my favorite. I don't like the smell. After proper analysis, I have come to the conclusion I don't really like the scent of it. It does kind of smell a little bit like bathroom. My actual skin looks really good. Like it's given my forehead a nice shine. So the finish is nice, it's just a smell. Right now, let's finish up these eyes and get back into the soap palette. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it kind of simple. I'm just gonna go in with the deepest transition we used on the outer corner on the lower lash line and create my kind of shape first of all. I'm letting it almost kind of trail off and trail slightly downwards because I don't want to make my eye look round by bringing it all the way around, you know? So I'm kind of stopping it halfway. I just have to say I'm kind of hating the way my under eyes look. I don't know if you guys can see but it is creasing like I'm up for under there. <laughs> All right, now that shape is there, I'm going back in with the same color, but with a little bit of a fluffier brush, and I'm going to drag it out to the black out here and start more of that fade. I kind of start just on the black straight away because you can always go in and re-intensify the black, but you don't want to bring the other color too far down because it's going to be harder for you to clean up. So if you're a little bit wary of over blending, just start on the actual color you want to blend and that'll help. I'm using a feather light touch with this because I just want to get that fade. I don't want to really deposit too much color. And to do this, I'm holding right at the bottom of my brush and I'm doing little flicking motions. Ooh, I'm quite liking the way this is looking, you know? All right, now I'm going in with the transition shade we used throughout the actual crease and I'm going to just blend out that shade even more. Again, when it comes to blending the inner corner, instead of rounding it around my eye, I'm doing kind of flicky motions and bringing it towards my nose. I'm only doing that when I barely have any product left on my brush. Whenever I explain stuff like this, I feel a bit silly because I think you guys are pretty talented and you probably already know all this stuff. I try, you know, I try. <laughs> These blend so easily. I think that's all I really want to do for the lower lash line. So I just wanna blend this out a little bit more like I said I would in the beginning. I'm a little bit worried though because I usually use my bronzer and the bronzer I've used is a very dark. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna go in with my favorite brush to do this, which is the Morphe M533. It just blends out everything so easily. I am just going to pull back with my brush. I'm not doing back and forth motions. I'm literally just pulling back with the excess bronzer. And this just helps blend it into the rest of your makeup, you know, and bring that swooped cat look to life again. I'm also going to use this on the lower lash line as well to just pull it up, just make everything cohesive, you know? Okay, now I'm just gonna take my big bronzer brush and just kind of fade it out just a little bit, just cause this bronzer is so intense, you know? All right, so now for my inner corner, I'm gonna take this little number of product. This is by Revolution Pro, the Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner in the shade Brown. I just take a little brush and I just kind of coat it in the product. I'm gonna quickly tight line and then I'll do my inner corner. I'm not making it too dramatic, just adding like a little something on the inner corner, you know? Right now I'm gonna put on a quick coat of mascara. I'm gonna use the Big Lash by Revolution. I've only used this once. I can't remember what I think about it. And also hopefully it's improved on its formula because I don't think I liked it that much. You know, sometimes you just have to leave a mascara for a little while and then revisit it. So hopefully this is the case. The wand on this thing is absolutely massive. Mm. Well, how drab. <laughs> not do a lot for my lashes at all. Mm. Well, I think falsies is kind of needed as well with this look, you know? I think if I don't put on falsies, I'm gonna look a little bit crazy. No, I definitely don't like this mascara. <laughs> just coat some black, you know? 
I want more from my mascara. I prefer the original, the Mascara Revolution. That's my favorite one. This is just boring. <laughs> All right, so the final XX Revolution product I have to try is actually a brow gel. It's the Fix Brow Sculpt and Set Gel, and I just got the shade Clear. They do have other shades, I think. Oh, looks cool. Cool packaging. Anything coming out on the spoolie? <laughs> Literally looks empty. It's a nice little wand. It's not too small, not too big. I think if you do have sparser brows, though, this will be too big. I have quite big brows. <laughs> it's not going to be too much of a thing for me, but um, yeah, let's see how this goes. It is gripping onto my brow hairs quite nicely, which is good. Not a lot of actual product is coming out on the spoolie, like the stopper is like almost too good. I know it's clear, but I can't feel anything going on my brow. It's kind of picking up my foundation around my brows a little. Not what I wanted. <laughs> did I finish my wine? I didn't. I don't think I did. I, think I need to pour another glass. I, I think that's my next step. <laughs> I think it's sending them in place. It feels a little bit wet right now on my brows, so I'm hoping that it's gonna dry down. Just looked, I actually have a bit of fallout from the purple on my face, which is not great. <laughs> this foundation is moving while I'm touching it. Okay, um, I'm gonna step away for a second. I'm gonna put some lashes on, decide on a lip, and then we'll come back and finish it together. I also saw on my hair because it's looking a little bit crazy. Also, I need to blend this transition shade. Like, it's just a harsh freaking line. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so I did something with my hair. I bought one of those, like, short ponies from, what is it, Lula Bells? Um, I've got one of the long ones from them, but it's blonde. I used that for my Ariana Grande outfit when I went to go see her a few years ago. But was that just last year? When was that? I can't even remember. <laughs> but I wanted to have one that's more of my natural color because my hair's grown out so much. I don't really have blonde on these front pieces anymore, so I can get away with being my natural color, and I have been considering going back to my natural color so I've bought this pony and then also like one of the longer wavy ones to test the waters a little bit and see how I feel about being just a full-blown redhead again. I love having blonde in my hair because it just creates texture and it just looks so much nicer when it's like curled and things I don't know just having like one flat color just doesn't sit right with me. It's kind of cute. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, let's finish up this face. I did add a little bit of powder. I just used the Kiko Radiant Fusion just to set the rest of my face. For my lips, I'm thinking about using the Soph collaboration with Revolution. Thinking cake, because of my eyes, I think cake would look good with this look, you know? I don't have a lip liner from them, so I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna put this on. <laughs> Is that a little dark? a bit much with the eyes, I don't know. I know what I'll do, I'll take the Revolution Plumpin' Lip Gloss in the shade Candy, cause it's a very light pink, and I think it'll just lighten it up a little. These are always so like, goopy. Just lighten it up just a little bit, you know? These are quite pigmented glosses, actually. All right, so this is the finished makeup. I feel a little bit better. It's just fun to play around with some new products, which let's just run through those products to say what I like and didn't like. The eye primer, I didn't mind. The actual tackiness of it was quite nice and it had made my eyeshadows quite vivid. It didn't work better than say the P. Louise, but that's mainly because it didn't cancel out the color on my lid and I prefer that, but I didn't have any problem blending, which is important. My lids don't feel tacky now. Also, there's no creasing or anything like that going on, which is great. The primer, I really like the texture of it, so it's definitely one I want to play around with. My pores don't look as obvious as they usually do, but I wouldn't say it's like a smoothing primer. It does feel nice though, and it does almost have that silicone-y texture, but honestly, it feels more like a heavier whipped cream that just kind of melts into the skin, which is really nice. So I'm definitely excited to use that a little bit more. Obviously, I'm not doing a wear test, so I don't know if it's gonna change the longevity of my makeup, but I'm definitely gonna test it out and see what I think about it and let you guys know in the future. Foundation, you guys will see my review on that coming soon if it's not already out. The concealer, I wanna play around with a little bit more. I felt like the more product I use, the better. My under eyes are looking a little bit creasier than normal, so I'm gonna have to work out a way to work 
work with this concealer is really good coverage so that's why I'm kind of thinking about maybe trying it again but the amount of creasing underneath my eyes is not something I usually want to deal with and I have other concealers that don't do this so meh. bronzer no for me just because of the shade and it is the lightest one which is kind of disappointing the actual formula seemed all right and it wasn't like patchy but literally i used the bare minimum and the majority of it is like still on my hand <laughs> i quite like the blush it's still there i did set it with my face powder and it's still showing through i have a feeling i'm probably gonna like that palette and i'm excited to use those creams a little bit more the highlighter i mean this is probably one of my favorite affordable formulas it's just so beaming and there's absolutely no texture it just literally blended into my skin like butter i added a little bit to my brow bone as well just to make you guys aware <laughs> definitely going to be reaching for that quite a bit also really like the packaging on that one the eyeshadow palette is really good amazing um so freely knocked it out of the park also the lipstick is very creamy it's prone to smearing if you're not careful because it's like a very creamy lipstick and was there anything else the brow gel actually um hmm. my brow hairs are still movable and barely any product came out on the actual wand personally i'd pass and the setting spray the mist is really nice and it left a nice glow to the skin i did set afterwards because i felt like my makeup was still movable so it's not a fixing spray it doesn't like set your makeup it just kind of gives you a nice glow which is kind of what it says on the tin so i can't really you know knock it for that <laughs> but don't expect it to keep your makeup in place and add longevity because it's not really going to do that okay and that's my little rundown of products that I've used today and that, that is currently on my face. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I only ended up having one glass of wine and I'm now sober, so that's great. <laughs> if you're new and you like makeup reviews and everything like that, please subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button and you can just join along and get notified of my future content. Hopefully I won't be too cray or drinking again. <laughs> But you know, we gotta have at least one video like that. Gotta chill and have fun sometimes. This is my happy place, so best place to be. <laughs> I'm actually loving this ponytail. It's like so swishy. What's funny though is my hair is pretty much as long as this. I just can't be bothered to style it. So that's when these things come in handy. But yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys now. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the crazy world we are in right now. Stay safe and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys. I'm looking for that everywhere. It's been in the friggin' box. <laughs> Goddamn planning ahead. Oh, where's my mirror, man? Oh. It's right behind you. It's behind you. Oh, I feel delirious in this video. I'm so sorry. Sorry, I'm not sure. Why do you do that? Stop it. Stop. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. I didn't ask anything. <laughs> Fuck off, Charlotte. <laughs> I don't want to see an ad. I feel like I've got something in my eye. Already been 45 minutes. Can you hear that? <laughs> so it says it's a sorbet like water gel with a smooth slough. Sloft? <laughs> Rain is intense right now.